No, and I don't think anyone did, not least, uh, not least UKIP. It was, uh, it was a phenomenal performance by them and demonstrated how in areas w which are demographically suited to them, they can really deliver. Uh, it's continuing what we saw at the European elections, where they were clearly able to pick up votes from all sides, uh, among people who have been left behind. These are people who are distrusted, uh, distrusting, dissatisfied, disapproving. It's mopped up votes from all of them. It's a recognition of the high profile and unusual nature of that, uh, that by-election. It's, uh, it's had almost blanket coverage with the exception of the party conferences, so it's no surprise that it's really built up, uh, built up enthusiasm. Plus this is an area that did, as I say, feel left behind, and so now they feel re-engaged in politics and that's reflected in the turnout. The Lib Dems have to at least make some kind of effort in all of these cases. To, they can't give up, they can't admit defeat. Uh, particularly with the election so close. They now have to try and differentiate themselves and have to get some kind of, uh, some kind of point across. How they do that remains to be seen, but they're certainly struggling in the by-elections. UKIP gets most votes from the Conservatives, but it by no means gets all of them from there. And uh, Hayward and Middleton shows that in Labour constituencies, these, these white working class constituencies across the north of England, they are able to make inroads. Of course, what they could really do with is a defector from Labour, uh, just to broaden their, uh, broaden their support. They don't have that yet, but certainly Hayward and Middleton shows that there is the potential. And so I imagine there will be a couple of Labour MPs wondering whether they should uh, make the switch. It's certainly a continuation of what we saw at the Europeans. They've managed it in by-elections. Can they manage it at the national level? We just don't know. It's certainly a protest vote, but there's no reason to say that, that protest won't last. Well, our polling shows that, uh, that people understand where UKIP stand on immigration and on Europe, but on the other issues, NHS, economy, things like that, the th kind of issues that people vote on come a general election, they're not so strong. But there is time to go, and what this demonstrates is that they've professionalised, they've got more serious, they've got more strategic. Remember, back in 2012, this was a party that wrote the wrong name on the ballot paper for the London mayoral election. That's a big change in two years. And so in the nine months before, the, uh, before May, a lot could happen.